Hey, 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 hey. It is this guy 4 here with my video review on the Transformers animated Starscream figure. As I said in my prior review, I'll be reviewing the guys that first came out in the animated line, which I kind of forgot to review because all the newer figures started coming out early, which is totally awesome. So yeah, I'll be getting back to these guys, which I'm happy to do because they're all great figures. Even though some people get tired of these figures because they newer figures come out and such, I... I but I'm not tired of this guy at all. He's he's still fresh. He's just I'll probably never get tired of him. Well, I probably will, but not for a very long time. So here you have Starscream in his jet mode Oops. without his landing gear. You can always flip the landing gear out just by going to the bottom of the jet mode, grabbing these black panels and digging your nails in and pulling those out until they spring forward like that. Do the same on the other side. Once you kind of have it pulled out, you kind of just push it forward like that and it snaps into place. Then you go up here and fold out that landing gear. Which is colored blue instead of the black, which is featured right here, which I'm kind of confused about. I'm wondering why they didn't paint, the, paint that black, but it's all cool. So for a real quick size comparison, here we have the movie Ironhide figure in his truck mode, obviously. And... As you can tell, the Starscream figure is obviously longer, and from the front, Ironhide's taller if you don't count these little tail fins on Starscream, but if you do, Starscream's just a bit taller. So we'll get Ironhide out of the way, and back to Starscream. Starscream's color scheme is basically blue and red. You'll see a bluish color featured on the wings and pretty much everywhere else everywhere else on the jet. You have the blue color featured on the wings right here. On the tail fins back here. On the section right back here, back here, and right here. And in the middle of that you'll see a little lighter or peller blue. Then you'll see some blue featured on around the cockpit. And that's basically it. You'll also see it on the fins back here and over there and some on the bottom of the jet in the bottom sections right here mainly where the kibble is on the landing gear in the front and on his little missiles right there or missile launchers you'll see some red featured on the front of the jet featured on the nose of the jet right there which goes up to there which then leads to a bigger section of red which is featured right here and goes all the way to the other side of the vehicle so it's repeated on both sides. Then you also see some red featured on the wings right there. Back here. And on the tips of these wings right here. And that's basically it for the red. Also on the wings you'll see two Decepticon symbols. One right there. And one right there. Then next to this... Bleh, next to Next to the Decepticon symbols you'll see some black sections right here right here in the lining of the cockpit on the back of the jet right there and there and on the landing gears on the bottom of the jet back there and on the other side too and on the tip of the nose right there now you'll also notice some orange featured on the cockpit right there and on the missiles in the back of the jet back here so that's basically it you also see some kind of darkish red featured on the sections right here. And if you look inside the cockpit, you can actually see a seat molded into there and a section in the front of the cockpit, which I'm not sure what that's called. So overall, this is just a really great figure. This is the second time I had to get this guy because the first time I got Star Trek, my uncle broke him. But it's all cool. I got paid back, so I just got another. I totally love this figure. I, I'm, I haven't gotten tired of him yet. I might get tired of him, but he's just a really cool figure. He's one of the best Voyagers that, that's in my animated collection so far. I'm pretty sure he won't be replaced because I have. I don't remember if there are any other cool, animated Voyager class figures coming out soon. This guy's standing up in the ranks of other animated Voyagers such as Prime, and Grimlock. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm not... I like Lugnut, but he's not up there. But yeah. 
I'm not saying this is the best figure, I'm just saying it's one of the best Voyager figures. So, once again, I totally recommend this mode. It's a definite 9.5 out of 10 for me. So, I'll just get to the transformation. The first thing that you'll go ahead and do is go ahead and flip up the landing gear featured on the bottom of the jet, just like that. As you can tell, it'll kind of spring upwards when you push it a certain a certain amount of you know when you push it back it'll spring up then you'll go ahead and grab this landing gear right here and fold it up fold it fold these little fins right like that you may want to remove the missiles so I don't lose them during the review and you may want to remove them so that you just don't lose them in general so go ahead and detach these pieces like that and then kind of lift that section down like this just by kind of maneuvering it and when you're about right there you'll go ahead and flip out the arms like this and the wings will kind of fold backwards like that this may be kind of hard to get on camera because all of this is most of the transformation has to do with the automorph so everything's happening at once so it's kind of hard to get on camera but you'll go ahead and fold down the rest of the chest like that and this section will peg into there and you hear that kind of snapping noise then the arms will kind of just fold down like this and his legs you can I will usually just fold them in once kind of like that like that so if you want if you want to see what I mean kind of fold them straight and you kind of fold them out once like that then you'll unfold his feet until they're totally flat like this Of course, if you want to give him some added height, you don't have to fold them out all the way. But it's easier to send him up when his feet are totally flipped out. Or totally flip, folded out. Well, raise the camera up a bit. Now, for his wings, you'll go ahead and... see If you see that hook right there, where my index finger is touching, that will hook onto this bottom section right there and it'll hold like that then you'll separate this back section you don't want to totally push through it right away you kind of pull it from pull the side to that side and that side to that side and then you'll fold it like that and then you could always rotate it up but then it does take up some extra space on the shelf so I usually just keep them folded down and there you basically have Starstream you'll go I'll just go ahead and put his missiles back in real quick which do have little shark faces on them which I didn't notice until Patrick mentioned them but there's little shark faces on the missiles it's not focusing at all I don't know why but there are shark faces so if you have this figure go ahead and check that out if you haven't noticed it already I don't know how Patrick notices this stuff he even noticed that Starscream's jet mode is pretty much in the shape of a jet which I totally didn't get at first until he mentioned it so yeah Major props to him. To him. So, I don't know. Let me try to get my camera set. So, Starscream, he's pretty much, he's one of the Decepticons. He, he kind of works with Megatron, but then he always ends up betraying Megatron in the series. And he's, so far, he has his own clones right now. He has pretty much just, you know, like, Thundercracker, all those people. I don't need to go through all that. Pretty much all the Starscream clones, except for one clone, which is a girl, which I'm not sure who that is. But he has a whole bunch of clones in the series, so he's trying to be. Blah. He's kind of he's one of the major villains in the series right now, besides for Megatron. And he's he's one of my favorite characters. He's pretty cool. He was my favorite character at one point, but then Prime kind of took over. So yeah, this guy's really awesome in the show. What's his name? The voice of SpongeBob. I'll probably put a caption of his name in the video while I'm editing it. But he's a oh Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny does an excellent job at voicing this character in the show, and yeah, I just totally love it. I, I okay, that's that that's not a sound effect. That's actually hap that's actually happening. So. There's probably a fire by my house, so if this review doesn't get to you by 
the end of today. My house probably burned down and I'm probably dead right now. So, yeah. So, we'll get onto his articulation, which is basically, you can flip up these missiles like that if you prefer to have them up like that. His arms can kind of, if you move, well, you'll have to move this out if you want articulation. They can rotate up about that far until they hit his back wings. They can rotate about that far back. They can move in and out from the body like that. They can rotate the lower arm, probably the 360 degrees. His fingers can pivot, such as his thumb, which can move in and out from his hand. Like that. And so can his four fingers right here, which can move in and out from the hand. Okay, I'm pretty sure they won't be coming back. Then his legs can move in and out from the body. They can kind of bend at the knee right there and at this joint right here. They can look, rotate the midsection of the thigh. His feet can pivot forward and back like that. And that's basically for his articulation. His head can't actually rotate 360 degrees because of his humongous chin. His head can pivot up and down. And then it can slightly pivot from side to side. Which most of you guys probably don't care about, but I thought I might as well just mention it. So yeah, that's basically it for his articulation. His weapon is obviously his little missile launcher right here. Which you can just fold down and he can shoot you. I'm pretty sure you don't need me to show you what it looks like when he's firing his missile because it's pretty obvious. But you can go ahead and grab one of his missile launchers right here, fold it forward, and kind of grab the missile launcher and pivot, oops, pivot it, pivot it, pivot it forward, like so. And you get kind of an Iron Man-esque thing where these side panels pop out to kind of form a bigger cannon. And if you want to retract that, you kind of just push the missile launcher backwards. And if you hear that crazy crying in the background, that's my new sister. Which probably some of you probably know about. So if you hear random crying, it's not some crazy person around my neighborhood. It's my new sibling. So go ahead and pose starching real quick. I'll just get your real quick size comparison to the original Star Starscream figure to be released from with the movie line, which is this guy right here. And the Start, the movie version is just slightly taller than than the animated version. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the movie version is just a bit taller. They look kind of similar in height, but I'm pretty sure the movie one is just a bit taller. So, why are you leaving a comment? Why don't you tell me which one do you like better? I kind of like this animated version better, but... Then again, I look at this guy and I'm not sure. It's just so hard for me to choose. So why don't you leave me a comment and tell me which one you like better. Get the movie version out of the way and get on with this guy's review. See if we forgot anything. And no, I didn't. <sighs> so my opinion on this figure is it's a definite must-have. It's a totally awesome looking figure. I mean, the character is super awesome in the show. How can you not want him? I mean, even look at that face. He just looks crazy. I mean, the light... With the light on, his mouth lights up, and so do his eyes. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did have to kind of shave down his chin because it was too big and it was interfering with the transformation, which is pretty annoying. But, you know, whatever. It was easy to do. So, once again, this is just a totally awesome figure for a totally awesome character. So, if you don't have this guy by now, I seriously don't know why. I mean, he's probably pre pretty easy to find in all the toy stores. I mean, I can find this guy easily. So, you totally have to get this guy. It's, he's a cool character. He's a cool figure. Go out and get him. So, once again, must have figure. And thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, and by the way, check out www.thetransformersmatrix.com to listen and listen to their weekly show every Saturday from 3 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. It probably won't end at 5, but. Because they always end up going for a longer period of time. But the show is hosted now by Patrick, a.k.a. Stop Motion Jr. 
the co-owner of Cyclone Productions, and Sean Long, the creator of the TransformersMatrix.com. They, then you can also check out www.universityf.com for your daily Transformers news. I'm going to stop updating every day, only on the weekends because of my education. It's kind of getting in the way of my internet career. So, yeah. Stop Motion Junior will be updating on that site. I know that Sean Long updates every once in a while. And some other crew members are... Astro Train 52 and Prime Reviews. We just welcomed Stunt Prime 35 to the crew, so welcome to him. He's pretty. He's really good. He's not just pretty good. He's really good at news posting. So just check out the site and join both of the site's forums. That we we love talking to people, so come talk to us. So once again, thanks for watching.